to get ready, dear. Do we have to go to church, Mum? Dad never does. Well, your father needs his rest after a full week of teaching little darlings who don't want to be taught. Well, maybe he just doesn't believe in this religion thing. Now, dear, of course he does. You shouldn't say things like that. Could we give church a miss for once? We always go, and we could be... I think we could be getting too much of a good thing. Besides, there's something I want to talk to you about. Now would be a good time, being Sunday in church and all. Well, perhaps, if it is really important to you, what would you like to talk about? Couldn't you wait till afterwards? I haven't missed going for ever so long. But it matters that much to you. Thanks, Mum. How many times do I have to tell you? Thanks, Mum. Could I ask you something? Of course, dear. What's it? Mum, this may be a naive question, but why are we Anglican? All I really know is that there are lots of different religions, but they all seem to be pretty much the same as far as I can tell. Anyway, Steve at uni says that his family is Catholic and they are Christian, while Deacon Graham at our church said that we are Christian. If we are all Christian, then how come Steve's Catholic and I'm Anglican? What makes us one and not the other? I honestly don't know. Well, it's a bit complicated, sweetheart. Yes, we are all Christian, but just a little different. It depends on our background family, family background, I suppose. What has our family background got to do with it? And different in what way? Well, not very different, really, darling. We just do things a bit differently in church. Sometimes I think the Catholics take it a lot more seriously than we Anglicans. Someone once said that Anglican Church in England is one big social club. That seems somewhat unfair. There is a lot of socialising and social work, but that's not quite the same. And then there's Waleed in the cricket team. He says his family is Muslim, so he is Muslim too and not Christian. Ah, oh, I think I get it. It runs in the family. That is what you meant by the family thing then. Like mother, like son, that sort of thing. Yes, dear. That's it. I don't think I've met Steve, but we'll lead I know. He seems a very nice young lad, and his mother is such a dear. I ran into her at the church bait last month. I was a bit surprised to see her though, but apparently her daughter's new boyfriend goes to our church. I would have thought she would be like a fish out of water, but she fitted in very well with the other ladies. Yes, she is nice. I've been around there a few times. Waleed's great, and he bowls a nice leg spin. That's nice, dear. Okay then. So, we are Anglican, Steve's family is Catholic, and Willie's family is Muslim because that's how it's been in their families going back... How long? Is there a time limit on these things? I don't know. Oh! And then there's Ruth at uni. She is Jewish. Yes, I suppose it is because it sort of runs in the family. Habit or convention, I guess. My parents were Anglican, so naturally they brought me up as Anglican. Steve's parents are Catholic, so they brought him up as Catholic. But really, all things considered, it doesn't matter that much. It just depends on the person and how good and kind they are. How about Waleed and Ruth? Same deal with the family thing? Yes, dear. Oh, but there is a difference with Ruth being Jewish. The Jewish religion is very much part of their identity. Religious Jews live their religion rather than sort of follow it, if you know what I mean. If, say, an Anglican and a Catholic marry, then they may choose to be one or the other, or sometimes forget about religion altogether. But when the, uh, but if a Jewish man marries a non-Jewish woman, then their children will not automatically be Jewish. Jewishness runs in the mother's side of the family. So if you will be Jewish if your mother is Jewish, and she was Jewish because her mother was Jewish, and so on. Okay, that sort of makes sense in a weird sort of way, but coming back to our family, I found a photo the other day of Nan, your mother, and her sister when they were growing up. Their names were written on the back, Olive and Thomasina Gat. I remember we called Thomasina Auntie Tom when we were little. Yes, Auntie Tom. She was what you would call an interesting woman. Very eccentric. Yes, I remember that she would only eat fish if it was raw. <laughs> and wholemeal bread before it became a thing. Ah, oh, yes. I do remember my mum telling me that Auntie Tom was a very close friend of Sigmund Freud. 
friend? Do you mean just a friend, or was it more than that? People used to call them companions. I think you know what I mean. But people didn't talk about that sort of thing in those days. Oh, good for Auntie Tom. She was strange, but I do remember that I liked her. So anyway, was your mother Anglican too? Sort of. She was actually High Anglican. I've never heard of that. What is it? Well, I guess Anglican, but with bells and whistles. Mum, you're not making much sense. Well, more like Catholic, with more ritual and ceremony. The Catholics do that well, but the Russians... Ah, uh, the Russian Orthodox wedding I went to when my friend Tatiana got married. Stunning robes and costumes, processions through the congregation, the priests swinging the censers with incense smoke pouring out, the icons, the chanting and singing. It was beautiful. So dramatic. Sounds pretty dramatic, all right. I would really like to see a ceremony like that one day. But if religion is a family thing, why aren't we high Anglican? So many questions! You're doing my head in! Okay, well, it's a lot harder to find a high Anglican church in Australia than it is in Britain, especially in a country town like this. Anyway, there is not really much practical difference, I suppose, just a lot more posh. Okay, so what about Auntie Tom? Was she Aunt High Anglican too, like Nan? I really don't know, dear. I very much doubt it. What about their mother? They never talked much about her, so I don't know. Except I do know that she died young and her maiden name was Green. I remember Nan had a rather prominent nose, and looking at the picture, so did Auntie Tom. And so do you, Mum. And your brother, Uncle Bill. And me, too. I guess the nose runs in the family, then. And Sigmund Freud was Jewish, wasn't he? Come to think of it, the place name written on the back of the photo was something green too. Uh, Bethnal Green or Golders Green. Whatever. I did read once that both places had synagogues and lots of Jewish people. So, could Nan and Auntie Tom have been Jewish? You're confusing me now, dear. Does it really matter? Sorry, Mum. Yes, it does. This is getting fascinating. Well, to tell you the truth, I did wonder about that at times. I suspect they may have been Jewish, but I don't know for sure they did. Although, now that you mention it, their mother's maiden name, which, as I said, is Green, has Jewish origins. Oh, and so does Gad, the man's maiden name. Crikey, well, it fits, and the nose. So, you once told me that your dad was from Yorkshire and came to Australia to head the Australian branch of standard telephones and cables. So what if Janan was Jewish, but converted to High Anglican so as to be more socially acceptable to Grandad's business? Well, I never thought of that. So if Nan and Auntie Tom were Jewish, that would make you Jewish too, wouldn't it? And me too. I suppose so, dear. So it's possible that you and I are actually Jewish. Oh, I don't know. I suppose so, dear. So, Mum, tell me again, why are we Anglican? 